Today I want to talk with you about mini split heat pumps. Mini split heat pumps are the most cost effective way to heat and cool your home. When I say cost effective, I mean two things. One, the cost to install, and two, the efficiency or the cost to run and operate the unit. The mini splits that we install are Fujitsu mini splits and Mitsubishi Mr. Slim mini splits. The largest unit we have, 18,000 BTU, is the Mitsubishi Mr. Slim uh, 18,000 BTU unit. The average cost installed is about $2,800. Now, any other place installing that uh, would be around $3,500 to even as much as $7,000. We're able to do it at that cost because we don't charge any uh, markup. We only charge our member what it costs us to put it in. That includes labor, all materials, uh, permit, everything installed is about $2,800. Now that can vary based on the difficulty of the install, the length of the line set, um, but our average is about $2,800. Now the, that's, that's one piece of that puzzle. $2,800 for the install cost uh, is, a, is a very low price. The other thing uh, that we're talking about when we talk about cost effective is the cost to operate. Now, many split heat pumps, or at least the ones that we install, are the uh, most efficient with the exception of a geothermal heat pump. So what are we talking about when we say efficiency? Well, a typical heat pump installed uh, today is going to be a 14 sear. SEER is Seasonal Energy Efficiency Rating. That is a pretty good system, uh, fairly economical to operate. It's going to be uh, probably twice, you get twice as much heat out of it as you would a plug-in electric heater per kilowatt hour of electricity burned. Now, um, d depending on the temperature outside, the units that we sell go as high as 33 SEER, that's for a 9,000 Fujitsu unit. Um, 33 SEER is just incredible. Uh, tremendous efficiency. You, uh, as a matter of fact, won't find a lot of ground source uh, heat pumps that have that high of an efficiency rating. They also have a HSPF or heating system performance factor. That 9000 has a HSPF of 14. Now your typical heat pump uh, will have a HSPF of 8. So there's a tremendous difference between an 8 and a 14. As a matter of fact, I believe it's 54% uh, um, difference between a 8 and a 14 HSPF. 38% uh, difference between a uh, 12 sear and a 25 sear and the unit I was talking about goes all the way up to 33. So it's just a tremendous unit. Um, it's a zonal meaning you would put one in the particular room of your house that you want to heat or cool. Typically what we do is we install the largest unit we have in the largest room of the house which in most cases is living room, dining room, kitchen uh, are all connected together in some way with large openings and that way that heat is distributed throughout all of that area. Now in some homes that are 1,200 up to uh, 15, 1,600, maybe even 1,700 square feet, we'll do two units. Uh, one in the main living area like I just described and also a smaller unit in the master bedroom and that way the two main areas where people spend most of their time are heated and cooled. Now that's not to say all of the house isn't going to get some of that heat. It will. It just won't be maintained at that two degree difference that a uh, normal whole house system ducted will require. Um, that's it in a, in a nutshell on mini split heat pumps.